Hey guys, you're playing Adam against making news. This is not an idea I really like to play against with Adam because you have zero base link. Uh, this hand is okay though. We've got Mimic to deal with Caduceus. We've got our brain chip, which we can maybe score early and then turn on. Thing is, he puts that Caduceus on HQ first. Or he's gonna get three bucks for the trace, which I just hate. Maybe he will not ice any centrals. Huh. Well, we're gonna see two here. I think he's gonna try to kill us, maybe. Data Raven Hedge Fund. Oh yeah, he wants to kill us. If we can get an agenda off the top, maybe we can play brain chip and draw. Arch Archangel. Uh doesn't want to pay though. Yeah, I wouldn't want to pay either at this point in the game. So what is that? I don't know what he's up to. Like I really have no idea what he's up to. Arcane's is going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. I don't even know. So we're trying a different build here with Clear Fair and some daily casts and data folding. Like, this is obviously a good card with neutral cards because you've got the data folding, daily casts, earth rise, love good. Like, there's a lot of targets. So this is either the Archangel or it's the Raven. Either way, I'm not happy. Yep. Um. I could break it, but I'm not gonna. So, whatever. It's probably the Archangel. Oh, this is a nightmare. Having two of these at once. Oh dear. If he bounces one of our cards, we're just we're just screwed. This is not good. If we can't find a target for these soon, we're gonna be in we're gonna be regretting these heavily. Because it's like the paradox of like, do you draw to try to get a target or do you not? What is that? Oh, it's, if it's breaking news, we're in trouble if we don't go. An APD contract, nice play. We don't really want it anyway. We could stim. We could have stimmed into that. Yeah, he wants us to steal it anyway because he's trying to uh, mid season us. But yeah, we'll make you score it. You don't even want to. Alright, we're gonna guess which one is the Archangel. Archangel is what? Strength 6? Six? 6 code gate. Yeah, we're not getting through that. This is just brutal. Well, we gotta know if it's here, whatever, he can bounce our thing. And this card could be an agenda. It's Cyberdex, okay. All right, that's what we need. <laughs> Cool, so here's here's the fun bit. Personal workshop. Gonna help get cards out of our hand. It's an economy. I don't know if it's good enough. Go to the stim hack. It's a classic combo.
Hmm. I think I'm not going to go for that. I think we're just going to, like... Well, the thing is, if you do an agenda here, I kind of have to install it. If this is... Getting this bounced is by the Archangel is disgusting. All right, let's see what this is. It's Archangel, <laughs> just brutal. All right, uh, we're gonna have to spend two clicks here. Because we cannot lose our, put our Earthrise back in hand. I guess he can trace this out if he doesn't. Yeah, never mind. This is silly. He has zero link. I keep thinking we have a link and he had to pay, but we don't, so that's fine. So drawing two turn from this is almost a non bow because then you don't get your safety first draw if you weren't able to clear your hand. Yeah, this card is super good for making news. Really? What's on top of that? Wish we had any breakers right now. When mm -mm -mm. we stim here, we can click click through the Archangel. Then he can pay to trace us. Well, maybe not. Maybe just let him bounce our thing. It's gotta be an ash, right? So if we pay four here, this map does not look good for us. No, he can trace us out. <sighs> Where's the breakers? We're gonna have to just let that go. Hedge fund, nope. This sucks. <laughs> uh, we're actually over our hand size limit right now. Wow, oh, we're not gonna need two workshops. an Astro too. Yeah, Astro with Astro and we couldn't have got there with the stim hack. We are completely boned here. I think I'm going to say we're 100% right off for this game. Well, if this had come out earlier, we could have done more with it, but as is, we are definitely just having to access R&D repeatedly. Hedge fund and APD contract. Oh, it sucks. It's mid seasons, we're just in terrible shape. Like, we're in terrible shape, period. That's just a fact. Um, yep. Womp womp. Hmm. We, we basically can't make unless our decoder comes up in a hurry. I 
Man, is it four? That's so reasonable for a big ice. Most of these ice you pay like a jillion dollars. So this is the data even after all. Quandary hedge fund. Oh, we don't really have a choice, do we, right? We gotta go fight this thing. through don't like it but what are we gonna do right oh right <laughs> yep he sure can do that the ash takes us out if he has it alrighty then uh, we guess we have to hope that it's Beal right trace us out but he cannot score oh man Yeah, we're just losing shit all over the place, like left and right. I cannot believe how bad this is going. six to get at this. Oh, harsh. Like, what do we even do here? We can't use Zoo against this, and we can't pay it. Like, Zoo is worthless here. This is not any good at all. 
on A, he can make trace bajillion. Hmm. Uh, we have to find... No, I don't think we can even get there. Six, because that 15 in our bank, he can make six and eight makes 14. Actually, we can get it with the stem. Oh, this hurts. It's not an APD. Like, seriously, if it is, I'll just be upset. What can we do here? Well, we've learned that Stim Hacks is a good card. That is the learning here. And our max hand size is one. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> Incredible. Play to our outs, right? Quandary, yeah. So I mean, now Zoo needs to appear. Now Zoo needs to appear. And we need to do a free draw that gets Zoo. No. Well, we tried so hard and got so far. Oh, does he not have the agenda? He sure doesn't. Well, that's not good. Well, that's not good either. Oh, man. These cards all suck if you don't have the, the career fair. <sighs> what do we even do? It's four extra, so it's seven right now. It's probably is too slow to do anything, but I guess we'll try it. So what I kind of just like about Adam is that you don't really usually have breakers, and yet his only good card is like boosting the effectiveness of breakers, which you don't have any of. It's really quite awkward. I'm not sure if you can put just like a ton of breakers in. Maybe the SMC. SMC clone stim hack is like the way to go. Then you're playing like a really bad version of a shaper. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Really, what's this? Putting an ash here, so this can't be anything good, right? Or we just put it in his remote. 
It's like we just continue to like flail around helplessly, not finding any kind of breakers. How can this be what we have? <laughs> uh, this is terrible. Really? Yeah, I'm not feeling data folding here. There's an agenda. And we still have found none of our breakers. Cool. Really? How can this be happening? play data folding out. There's no way there's enough turns left in the game for this to be anything. That seems good. All right, we need to draw and have it be quant er zoo. We need to draw to have it be zoo. We need to draw and have this be zoo. Actually, that, that, that was too late. Yep, that sure happened. Okay. Not crazy about having these guys all hanging around. What's he playing? He must be playing like eight agendas. Three, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I cannot believe we're still alive. This is crazy. All right, well, we need to go here, maybe go archives and come back. That's the basic idea. We're trying to accomplish this turn. It's playing this crescendo is needed. I don't think it's needed. We just need to get in there. Um, yeah, I think we need to get in there. So we'll pay, break both subs. So six, five, four, two, three, four. Derez this. Will he use Jackson here? Yeah, he will. Makes sense. I just alluded that this might also be a Jackson.
yeah, also a Jackson. So he'll put six cards in. There's probably only like two to three agendas left. We're going to see two cards, so maybe we'll get there. Come on. Jackson Howard. No, we can't trash in case the next card is an APD. Chrysium Grid. Ew. Alright. Hmm. We I mean, gotta check one time, right? In case he has something. I guess if he had an APD, maybe he didn't wouldn't have scored it yet, or or, or a third food. Sweeps and ash. Um. Hang on, we need to trash that other card. So he's just drawing Chrysium Grave, which doesn't help him at all. Drawing a fresh card, it's hitting a huge sweeps. Stalling at Chrysium, I guess, which doesn't do anything, but good for him, right? Um. Nothing to be done but hit R&D, right? Might as well res, huh? Well, the thing is, I'm sure there's another NAPD left. Let's do math here. If we pay two to get to three, four bucks will be on one. Actually, we can be on five. No, we can be on two if we do this. No, I did that wrong. We pay one going to four. Use these four things for strength. No, we're going to be on two. We have to let him bounce. Or we can't take any PD, which is what we're likely to see. Archangel. Actually, I'm going to... Whoops, I meant to bring that out. Maybe he will bounce that workshop. Oh, he bounces the RDI anyway. Oh, it's Ash, of course. That's why he didn't put the Chrysium down. So we are traced out, and we're getting rid of... No. And we'll get rid of that. And that's bad. That is very bad. gets it. Fair. Well, it's a good effort. <laughs> this deck is pretty much a pile. I really don't like having all these extra cards just hitting around. When you're against an NBN fast advance, you don't have time for this stuff. Okay, nothing in his hand besides the Astro. Thanks for watching, guys.